En los deportes de la página informativa, el Cien Dioniel, la máquina deportiva, en los deportes tú acabó con tú, la máquina deportiva live.com. Hockey, fútbol, lo que libra con patada, baloncesto, béisbol, boxeo y mucho más, la noticia del deporte bien actualizado, entrevista y opinión y todos los resultados, Oniel Batista anotó un touchdown, batillando 400 te de gano, que aún más que Kobe Bryant, el Okay, everybody, we have Gio Urshela here, uh, and we will follow with Clint Frazier, and that will conclude uh, postgame tonight. Chris Sheeran, go ahead. First question for Gio. Thanks, Gio, for the time. Uh, just when you hear this, eight straight wins against Boston, 13 of the last 14 against the Red Sox, and 19 of the last 24. Uh, you're 5-0 and against them this year. You've only been part of the rivalry for a little bit, but hearing all that, what does that mean to you? Ah, uh, it means uh, we got to keep working, keep working hard, uh, keep doing what, what all we've been doing and trying to get uh, every win we can. And DJ left this game tonight. You lost Giancarlo, you lost Aaron, and now you lost DJ. We don't know if it's an IL stint, but what does that mean for this team? We got to keep moving forward. Uh, I know um, it's been a um, uh, long year. Uh, I know we haven't played that many games, but it's been a long year. But we, we're trying to, to keep forward and I uh, hope that you get healthy. Thanks, Gio. Who else for Gio? Anyone else for Gio? Okay, thank you, Gio. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Uh, remotely, uh, we also have Marlon Abreu here translating, and we are ready to take a first question. Chappie, you there? Yeah, me escucha. Sí. Okay, perfect. Marlon, uh, can you ask if Chappie has video? Is he doing video today? Uh, uh, a ver si puede prender la cámara, Charles, para que te vean esa lente ahí. Hey, there we go. Whoa. Fancy. All right. We can get started. Uh, we can take the first question from Christy Ackert. Hey, Aralis. Um, wondering what it felt like when you were diagnosed with um, having the coronavirus, um, how you felt during quarantine, and how you feel now that you're working out or pitching against. Hola, hola, que tuviste algunos síntomas ya cuando cuando supiste que tenías este virus y comparando hoy en día cómo te sientes hoy en día. No, noticia los síntomas que tuve fueron de de la pérdida de, de sabor de la comida y, y del olor, pero lo otro me sentía, me sentía bien, normal. Y hoy en día me siento bien, normal. Yeah, you know, uh, once I was diagnosed, um, I think the only thing was the, the loss of taste and, and smell. Um, but I felt fine, you know, and, and comparing, talking about today, I feel, I feel good, I feel normal. Thank you. Thank you. We can take the next one from Brendan Cuddy. Aroldis, thanks for being here. Glad to hear you're healthy. How soon yeah. do you think you can return to the mound to the major leagues? Aroldis, eh, gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Eh, me siento feliz de que estás saludable. Eh, ¿Cuándo piensa que puede regresar y unirte al equipo aquí en Grandes Ligas? 
eh, bueno, ya me siento bien. Pasé ayer mi primera vez de Pietlán y junto a otra hora, ahora me siento muy bien. Me siento un poco más desorganizado en la loma de tanto tiempo sin lanzar contra los bateadores, pero al contrario, lo fui muy bien, lo sentí bien, eh, el brazo, todo, la velocidad, el cuchillo, el tiempo. Y creo que voy a tener otra salida, volver a lanzar creo que el jueves y, y ya después de, de, esa, de, de ese día, creo que en cualquier momento voy a encontrarme la equipo. You know, like I said before, I feel I feel really good. You know, um, understanding the time that I've had uh, without facing hitters. You know, playing catch and doing the regular routine. Yesterday, I faced hitters for the first time, and I um, I actually felt better than expected. You know, uh, just being on the mound and pitching uh, to live hitters, and also the the recovery following that. I believe I have another outing coming up on Thursday, Friday. And uh, if everything goes well, you know, uh, hoping uh, everything goes the way we want, you know, I think uh, at any time after that. And you had spent a couple days at Yankees workout, and then you were diagnosed, you know, positive with the coronavirus. Were you concerned that you might have infected any of your teammates? Did that run through your head? It, 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 y Chapi, solamente para preguntarte, porque entendemos que cuando te dieron la notificación y te informaron que tenías el virus, eh, entrenaste en el, en el Yankee Stadium por un día o dos, eh, entendiendo el protocolo de seguridad que hay aquí, eh, ¿te preocupaste de que algún compañero eh, podía también ser, ser infectado? Sí, porque claro, estuve, estuve conversando con algunos de los muchachos y ya se lo tuvimos la tener la, 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 la distancia eh, tuve mucho en sí como contacto con, con personas eh, dentro del clubhouse cada cual en, prácticamente en su lugar con, con la distancia eh, estuve trabajando prácticamente trabajo solo eh, así siempre en mis cosas solo y bueno sí lo que nunca sabe y, y Nunca sabe uno caminando en el lugar, en el gimnasio y, y sigue preocupado, gracias a Dios, nadie, nadie salió afectado de eso y, y ese es todo, todo también. Yeah, of course you worry. You know, you work for your teammates. You know, you know, you understand the situation you're in. Um, although uh, we have a, a, a lot of protocols that we follow and Uh, we try to do the best we can to keep our distance. You know, you still gotta, uh, you still gotta train. You gotta get your work done. You know, uh, working in the gym, working with other people. Uh, so following those days, you know, I, I talked to a lot of my teammates. I, I let them know what was going on, and um, just to kind of give them a heads up. Um, and thank God, you know, thank God that everything worked out well. That uh, I was the only one that uh, contracted the virus at the time. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. We can take the next one from Pete Caldera. Hi, Raldis. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what your workout routine was like uh, in your apartment during quarantine and uh, what you did to keep your arm in shape during that time? Hola, Raldis. Eh, ¿Nos puedes hablar un poquito de eh, cómo... Eh, que... ¿Cómo fue el tiempo en cuarentena en tu casa? Notamos que estuviste entrenando. ¿Cómo fue ese entrenamiento? ¿Cómo lo pudiste hacer? ¿Qué ajuste tuviste que hacer para tratar de mantenerte en la mejor forma posible? No, me sentía bien. Eh, ya no podía salir, no quería tampoco pasarme ese tiempo hasta no sabía cuándo podía regresar a pelo, a entrenar y, y estuve comprando alguna cosa. Eh, que me hacía falta para por lo menos trabajar mi workout y, y por lo menos mi cardio y eso ahí en la casa, porque no podía salir a ningún lado y, y mantener así no me, eh, la rutina, la rutina que siempre hago, pero un poco diferente con, con otras cosas que antes no usaba, pero eh, 
creo que me ayudó, me ayudó mucho y, y algunas veces me dio como que fue eh, soltar mi brazo algunas veces con, con, una, con una, una media sí. que me mandaron y, y pude hacer algo y mantenerme, mantenerme sí. entrenando. Yeah, you know, uh, luckily I felt good throughout the, the, the whole time that I was quarantining at home and, um, you know, I had to get creative, you know, I had to uh, try to, I wanted to keep my routine as close as possible, so I had to purchase some equipment, uh, move some stuff around the apartment, you know, and uh, try to get uh, as close as I could to my regular workout routine. Um, one of the things that helped me out, it was kind of like a, like a pitching sock that you can um, use to simulate throwing a baseball. Um, and like I said, you know, you just got to find ways to uh, to get the work in and not lose too much of the rhythm. Take the next one from James Wagner. Hola, ¿qué tal? Rolis, voy a preguntar en inglés para todo el mundo, pero um, just two, two, two part question. Uh, do you have any idea, I know you were said you're being careful how you might this might have come about how you, you know, how you might have been exposed to it and then now now that you have it like uh now you've gone through this experience does it kind of change your perspective on like i'm careful everyone and you have to be going forward i guess even more careful eh, Aroli, eh, entendiendo tú sabes eh, eh, que fuiste contagiado con el virus eh, alguna entiendes algo por dónde cómo eh, obtuviste el, el virus y, y ya pasando por eso parando pasando por esa experiencia eh, te preocupa cambia tu mente un poco de, de, de lo que se está logrando hacer jugar este deporte pre, de, alguna preocupación en sí no la verdad no la preocupación eh, ha salido eh, la vida está bien es muy importante eh, Yeah, um, you know, I really, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know uh, how or where um, I contracted the, the virus, you know, I was being careful, I was doing uh, what I was supposed to be doing, you know, coming to the stadium, going home. Uh, so I, I don't have an answer for that. You know, uh, the second part of your question being worried about it, you know, uh, I'm not worried about it because, you know, my family is, is, is fine. You know, uh, thank God uh, my teammates are fine. Uh, everybody around is fine. You know, um, went through the experience and, and, you know, thank God I'm fine. But, um, you know, uh, going through the experience, understanding that everybody finds themselves healthy. Uh, it's, a, it's the most important thing for me. Thank you. We can take uh, another question from Marley Rivera. Hola, Roldis. Marlon, ¿quieres la pregunta en inglés y en español? Sí, por favor. Ok. Roldis, como yo soy completamente bilingüe, te puedo decir las preguntas en las dos. Okay. <laughs> um, Roldis, you've talked about uh, your workouts and how fit you were coming into the season and coming into uh, the summer camp. How difficult has it been not to be able to throw? Aroldis, tú hablaste de lo mucho que tú trabajaste en tu preparación física, en perder peso, en trabajar en el gimnasio en todo este tiempo. ¿Cuán difícil ha sido no haber lanzado? Sabes, estamos a mediados de agosto y tú no has lanzado una entrada en Grandes Ligas. Hola, eh, lo principal era la salud, ¿sabes? Eh, 
Carolina, disculpa, no se escucha. Sí, tenemos un, un problemita ahí de, de comunicación. No te podemos escuchar en el momento. Si puede tomar una pequeña pausa y tratar de que la, la, la conexión se perdió y no pudimos escuchar tu respuesta. Yeah. Guys, I think we're having trouble making a good yeah. connection with the rollers, so uh, we're going to stop right now um, and uh, appreciate the time. Aroldis, if you can hear us, thank you for joining us. Um, and uh, Marlon, appreciate the help as well. Gracias, Aroldis. Gracias, Marlon. Thank you, Marley. We'll be back at you at four o'clock with Aaron Boone. We have right. Gary Sanchez with us, and we are ready to begin. Meredith, uh, please kick us off. Gary, just how close do you feel to being completely locked in at the plate? Gary, ¿qué tan cerca te sientes de, de estar, eh, sentirte totalmente bien eh, en el plato bateando? Bueno, un proceso, me, me he sentido bien en los últimos juegos, he estado trabajando fuerte con Marcos, P.J. Eh, y nada, trata de seguir este ritmo que llevo eh, de poder poner la bola más en juego. You know, it's, it's a process, you know, and we've been working very hard, working with uh, Marcus and P.J. Uh, and getting to the point where I feel really good at uh, the plate. You know, um, doesn't happen overnight, it's, it's continuous work, you know. Two run shot in the fifth went 457 feet. Can you just describe the feeling when you get a hold of a ball like that? Este es un ron de dos carreras, un batazo totalmente contundente, 457 pies. Puede describir un poco qué se siente dar un batazo así cuando en el momento que pasa. Bueno, se siente bien que pude ayudar al equipo con dos carreras. Y nada, eh, no, a mí no me importa la distancia. Si la bola pasa de la verja, eh, eso eh, lo cojo como venga. ¿Tú me entiendes? You know, it's, it's always going to feel good anytime you have an opportunity to help the team, you know. And like you said, no two wrong shot there. Uh, definitely felt good. Um, distance uh, doesn't matter. You know, if it goes over the wall, you know, that's, that's all that matters. From your vantage point, what did you think of Cole tonight? What stood out to you? De tu punto de vista de esta noche, eh, ¿Qué viste de Cole en esta noche de hoy? ¿Qué, ¿Qué sobresalió en sí de su manera de trabajar esta noche? Bueno, eh, todo lo que él hace lo hace bien. Eh. Siempre me sorprende cada vez que picha. Eh. Todos los pichos estuvieron funcionando, estuvimos atacando a los bateadores. Eh, el jorrón que le dieron fue un buen picheo, pero a veces los bateadores le dan a los buen picheos también. Eh, y creo que estuvo excelente esta noche. Uh, he was excellent tonight, you know. Every, everything he did is, is just... Impressive, you know, every time he goes out there, doesn't, uh, he's always surprising me with, with the quality of, of his pitches, uh, even on, on the homer, you know, that was a good pitch. Um, and it happens, it happens in baseball where uh, you execute a good pitch and, you know, a hitter is still, uh, it's able to put good wood on it. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Marlon. We can take the next one from Marley Rivera. Gary, te la voy a decir en inglés y después en español para Marlon. Gary, you, you, obviously it's no secret that you've been struggling at the plate. Was there a specific thing that started working for you? Gary, no es ningún secreto, ¿verdad? Que habías tenido problemas en el plato. ¿Qué específicamente funcionó hoy y ha estado funcionando? Bueno, he estado trabajando mucho con los hitting coach aquí. Eh, siempre, ahora mismo lo que estoy trabajando es poner la bola en juego, que es lo más importante. Okay. Tratar de tener buen contacto con la bola y, y que pase lo que vaya a pasar. You know, like I said before, it's, it's been a lot of work, you know, with the hitting coaches, you know, trying to get me uh, to the point where I feel comfortable. And, and right now, uh, the one thing I'm doing is just trying to put the ball in play, you know, uh, do that, uh, put the ball in play and, and, and see what happens, you know. And uh, Gary, you were the one who named, who nicknamed DJ LeMahieu, La Machina, right, the machine. So is there anything that you can learn from him just being such an incredible hitter at the plate? 
Eh, Gary, tú fuiste el que bautizaste a DJ Le Medio como la máquina, ¿verdad? Lo increíble que es en el plato. ¿Hay algo que tú específicamente puedas aprender de lo que puedas discutir con él, de los problemas que estás teniendo? Que lo que hace DJ lo hace él solamente. <risa> él es único. Ese, Dios le dio ese talento a él. Eh, es impresionante cada vez que sale al terreno y ve lo da 3 y 4 G como que nada ha pasado. Es algo impresionante. Eso es un talento que Dios le dio eh, y, y nada, es un buen bateador. I mean, DJ is unique, you know, he's a unique person, you know, and, and God gave him that talent to, to be able to hit uh, a baseball. You know, it's every night he goes out there, gets two, three, four hits, you know, and that's what he does, you know, uh, unique, uh, very special talent right there. Gracias, Gary, thank you. Gary, thank you very much. We'll have Garrett Cole uh, in about 30 seconds. Regresamos en breve, no te muevas. Feel pretty good about it, you know. And I think we're gonna like be okay with it. No, I'm, me personally, I feel really, you know, I feel like normal because I. I really fuck, I'm really focused about, like on the game, but you know, obviously we're gonna miss the fans out there, you know, and the noises of the fans. But I think we're gonna be, you know, really good about that. We're gonna handle it like really good, because everybody here that we you know, we just focus and win the game, and it's, it's a little different, but still, you know, we we gotta focus on on the game. Hey, Willie, how important is it to kind of come back tomorrow given that the season's only 60 games and obviously every game is more important now? Uh, I mean, uh, I'll say it's pretty important, you know, because, like, for us, you know, we, we, we like to win, you know. I, I think uh, this, is, this is when we're doing good is when we're winning, you know, because everybody's having fun. It doesn't matter if you go 0 for 4 and you go 4 for 4 if we win. Everybody's going to be happy. So I think for us, it's going to be really important tomorrow to have that win. But uh, we just have to uh, continue to play hard and, you know, just try to do the little things to, to win the game and just focus on what we can control. And, you know, it just, it just happened. You know, let's just let it happen. Willie, last year you, you got off to that, that slow start at the plate. Are you just feeling way more confident? You, you know, you had a pretty good summer camp, and uh, it looks like you're seeing the ball well with the walk and, you know, the two hits. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I, like last year in the second half, I work a lot in the cages, you know, trying to, to get my swing back. And, you know, like I finished really good, you know, feeling I, I finished the season feeling really good at the plate. You know, I just – Brought that to spring training this year, and I was just gonna continue to do the same thing we were doing last year, and I just had the same mentality now. You know, like I feel really good at the play, and I'm just gonna continue to improve, and just to be better. Willie, I know you have a close relationship with with Rodney and Ozzy. What was it before the game? What was it? Why was it important for you to kind of stand side by side with them during as they took a knee? Cause you know, like. Like you say, I'm pretty close with them, and I have a lot of friends, you know, and I support them, you know, I support, uh, I support equality, and I think, you know, everybody should do that. And for me, it's pretty special, you know, that, that I can support, you know, two of my coaches and my friends out there. And, you know, I'm just happy that I'm right, by, right next to them to support them. Willie, speaking of support, how, what did you think of Yoshi's home run? It was pretty uh, impressive, you know. I I, I think uh, he pre, uh, he feels pretty good about it, and you know, I'm just happy that he did it today in the opening day. You know, it's pretty special for him. I, I think, I believe so, because you know, it's the first game, and you know, he already hit a homer, so it makes it's gonna make him uh, to to get more confident and just continue to work hard, because. You know, he's a great player. I know he's going to hit a lot of those with us. Anything else for Willie? 
Thank you, guys. Have a great night, everybody. Night, Willie. Bye. Manny, is there a way you could get closer? Because I don't think we heard we heard Yandi fine, but we didn't hear you at all. I can't hear anything. Can't hear. Can you guys hear me now? What about now? Yeah, it still sounds way off mic. Can't hear it like anything. Like any. You sound like the teacher in Charlie Brown. Oh, now, can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. Uh, I've always been a patient hitter uh, in my career, um, and I'm just going to kind of stick to that same approach and, and draw a lot of walks. Are teams pitching you differently, do you think, so far than last year? Uh, yeah, I think they're starting to throw me a lot more away and a lot more breaking balls as well. So how do you adjust back? Um, you know, I don't plan on changing much at all. I'm going to stick to my same approach and stick to what I know, um, and then hopefully just get the, the results I want. And Kevin Cash yesterday said he wants to play you consistently at one spot, so he's going to play you more at third. How do you feel about that? Uh, you know, I'm going to play wherever I, uh, they need me to play. You know, I feel happy that he said that about me, and I'm going to play any position they want me to play in order to help this team win. Anything else for Yandi? All right, thanks everyone. Thank you. Yanni, what is your excitement level to make your first start of the season? Uh, ¿Cómo te sientes uh, mañana es tu primer salida del año? No, me siento eh, primeramente agradecido con Dios por la oportunidad que Y nuevamente me va a dar de estar aquí con el equipo y, y nada, de ser la primera salida mañana, bueno, contento y, y nada, dar lo, lo, lo mejor de mí el día de mañana y, y aportar ese grano de arena para ayudar al equipo a ganar. Uh, once again, uh, thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity. Um, once again, I'm excited to be out there for my first start to compete for my team. Does it help you to get to watch the Braves tonight since you don't see them very often? Yeah, I'm gonna pay really close attention to the haters today. Um, and taking everything at, that I got from the game and apply it to tomorrow's game. Hey, Yanni, how, how built up do you think you are? Obviously, you pitched four sim innings the last time you pitched in during summer camp. But how, how built up do you think you are even that you missed like, a couple weeks during camp? You took four puntadas the last time in summer camp. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo te sientes y cómo, cuánto crees que puedes pichar? 
Ah, eh, eh, bueno, esa vez me sentí bien, gracias a Dios. Este, todo es también la, la, la preparación que uno hace y, y es, es la forma de que uno se siente bien a Lomita y nada, el día de mañana, eh, Dios mediante, poder llegar lo más lejos que, que, que se pueda. Uh, no, I feel good with all the preparation I did at summer camp and uh, I felt good with those four innings. And again, just got to thank God for the opportunity to go out on the mound and, you know, however long I got to go tomorrow, I'll be ready. Yanni, I know you've had the virus already, but I'm sure you saw what's going on with the Marlins. Um, have you kind of talked to some of your teammates since you've been through this already and how important it is to be safe? Uh, ya has tenido el virus y con todo lo que ha pasado con los Marlins. ¿Has hablado con tu equipo sobre más todo lo que está pasando alrededor de nosotros? No, 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 sí, como tal he hablado de eso, pero eh, por lo menos ya sabemos la, las precauciones de que tenemos que, tú sabes, siempre usar la máscara y, y de tener siempre el, el, el antibacterial, siempre, y no, de, de, de que lo mantengamos siempre con prudencia cuando salgamos y. Um, no, I haven't really gotten into detail with them. Um, obviously, we're all just being cautious with all the protocols and wearing the mask and, you know, having your hand sanitizer and just being um, accountable and responsible for, for what we're doing out here. Great. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yep.